Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and if this is your first time clicking on my videos or seeing my face. Welcome. Today's video, if you did not read the title and you cannot tell by how I'm looking, is a Valentine's Day a look. The hair is not really for Valentine's Day. I just wanted my hair to be this color, so basket it, boo. Um, I feel like this look is very achievable. It's super simple, very easy. Two eyeshadows literally one eyeshadow on the bottom a gloss a lip liner and really you can do this with any you know foundation routine you like i just came on here and showed you my foundation routine how i would have achieved this look if i was to be going somewhere so i'm clocking i'm not going anywhere but i just want to come on here and show you guys if you have writer's block and you were confused it's what you maybe we're not gonna do for you staying in the house with your boo watching netflix and eating some dinner or whatever but if you needed some inspo, baby, here I am. But if you are interested in seeing how I got this look for you or for Valentine's Day, you just want to look because, you know, you just want to look at me. Then make sure you stay tuned before we jump into the video, though. Make sure you subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and give this video a thumbs up because you're going to love it. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. All right, we're gonna jump right into the face. I'm going to spray my face with the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. I just got this because I'm running out of my matte Maybelline spray and I didn't really want to be matte all the time anyway. So we'll see what's good with it. It's a light smell, a light mist. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Okay. Do I want to do foundation? Yes. Oh, this is my Hourglass Vanish Stick in Sable. Do you guys feel far away? You are kind of far away. Just a little bit. Now you're not. Okay, I'm not going to add any cream contour today because I just don't feel like that's the vibe that I need to go for. So I'm going to add my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. You know, a gem, a true gem. I just shot some of that out into my shoulder. Did I say this is the color Fawn? This looks really light, but it's not as light in person as it looks on camera i promise you guys it's not like caucasian in person it's definitely not this looks so good I don't need a brighter concealer, but I'm going to use a brighter concealer. Multi-use, what the hell is I about to call this? Multi-use sculpted concealer, born this way, that's what I was about to say, um, and butterscotch. This is my highlight concealer. Okay, I'm going to set with my Born This Way powder. Now, let me tell you something. At first, I hated this powder. I hated this powder. I don't know what it was. You know, I think it was because I preferred a brighter, like, translucent powder. But this powder has grown on me tremendously. And I like how it makes my skin look. So, I'm going to be in this today to set. we're going to get there we're not there yet we're not even close but we're going to get there i i promise we're going to get there so i'm going to pop something on my eyes so i'm going to be using the bella and company bella primavera palette and i'm just going to be dipping into these pinks focus these two pinks 
right here and probably a little bit of this this is not even a pink this is like a purpley pink but these three shades right here so we're gonna get in on that that first lightest shade is cherry blossom I don't even want to add anything else. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to add anything. Okay, so I think because this is so pretty by itself, I think I'm just going to go into that shade Tulip because it's the brighter shade. And I'm going to, nope, I'm lying. I'm going to go into this shade Honesty and put that all over my lid. And that is how we're going to, you know that's how we're going to carry this look that is enough that's good that is really bright and that's the darker shade that's really bright it's definitely way brighter than i initially anticipated so we're going to Actually, let me do my lower lash line while I'm here and pop that same shade down there. I'm going to put a liner on, but I didn't get it yet. Okay, so this is very much a pink look. That is intentional, but... I didn't realize it was going to be this deep. Okay, one second. We're going to take Morphe Bronzer in Leader. This Pole Nap Powder Brush. Okay, we're going to be very much snatched up for this look. Oh, I guess I can throw a little contour on my nose. Yeah, we're powdering down. But I figured out that this is how I like to powder my face because this gives me the right color that I desire. I have the beige powder down first. Let me close it. I have the beige powder down first, and that gives me like that yellow-ish tint that I'm looking for. And then I have the translucent on top, and that gives me the little bit of, you know, extra that I'm looking for. So, you know, like, this is it. This is good for me. This is good for me. So, I'm going to take this. What is this? Who is this by? I'm looking right at it, but I don't know. Oh, Black Radiance. It's on the top. This Black Radiance Artisan Color Baked Blush in Raspberry. This is so old. I honestly probably should throw this away. Like, at this point, I probably shouldn't even use this. But, like... Does powder break you out if you use it? I don't know. Like, as I use it, I probably shouldn't. If you have a powder from three years ago, you don't use it. I'm going to use mine because I don't throw things away. But you don't have to use yours. So, be better than me. Don't beat me. Be better than me, okay? I'm looking crazy right now, like hella powdery. But, like, please, bear with me believe in me i do my makeup enough you guys should know i know what i'm doing i'm going to spray now because i need to spray like i seriously need to spray anyway i'm gonna set the remainder of my face with my nutmeg powder from fenty it's a lot of powder i know don't have to tell me, Pooh. I know. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques big brush. I dipped it into the top. 
Now, I feel like I'm looking way brighter on camera than I actually am in person. And I don't like that. Because that means when I take pictures, I'm going to look real crazy. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I want to contour a little bit. So I'm going to take this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And... What one is this? Medium to dark. They have one that's deeper than this now. So I think it's dark to deep. And that's a vibe. But this one is deep enough for me. So I'm going to go into that darker shade. <laughs> I'm going right in the hollows of my cheeks. To try and carve that out. The Molten Rose Gold kind of came through for me the last time I wore it. So let's see if it comes through again. by MAC, a uh, OG fave. This lip liner is still a banger. And then I think I said the Naomi Gloss by Juvia's Place and Vanessa. Okay, so this is the finished look. Like I already said before I got off camera, y'all already heard me say that, okay? But I love how this turned out. It's very pink, very purple, very Valentine's Day. That's the vibe. I was trying to give off to you guys Valentine's Day, flirty, cute. A lot of stuff is still closed down, but if you are around stuff that's not closed down and you are going to have Valentine's Day, this is something you can do. A cute little gloss, like a monochrome lid cute little lash these are extensions but you know just a cute little face that's all i was trying to give i was trying to give easy breezy beautiful cover girl that's all i was trying to give but that's all i have for today's video if you aren't already subscribed hit the subscribe button and like i always tell you guys i'm your girl tiffany thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video